from the city It's been so long since we've been gone I wanna feel that summer feel But I don't wanna go if you ain't with me Let's make a home, be all alone I hate driving. I'm so annoyed right now. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Gugu. I'm also known as Sne and as Gugu Kuleti on all my social media platforms. Feel free to follow me because I really do drop some premium content, honey, and that's on. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to yet another vlog i am at a vna waterfront i am meeting maneo uh we're going to buy homosa's birthday present so on the 14th of may of which it's tomorrow it's homosa's Homo birthday so the husband wants to surprise her with like a lunch like a simple lunch with her friends so um, we had to buy a gift for her so i'm just going to try and get her something nice that she can use because when i buy gifts i genuinely want you to use my gift like you have to use it you can't hate it or you can't put it away I'm like ugh, why did you get me this <laughs> i'm that type of person but anyway let me get off and go i want to start by zara because my name was not here yet i want to return these shoes I love them but I feel like I love the bag even more so I am keeping the bag and I'm taking back the shoes um then hopefully after I've done that money will be here and then we can go gift shopping I need to go home and clean my house it's so dirty guys it's been like such a hectic week honestly I don't have time to do everything and the reason that I don't have a helper I think I'm gonna get those one of those one day come clean today only help us if the load gets too much kind of like now uh my mom has a full-time helper at home that i'm paying for she actually comes from monday to friday and i pay for her and i can't afford to pay for both of us at this stage but hopefully things will be better financially at a later stage then i can have i can afford to have both helpers for me and my mom because i feel like my parents need a helper more than i do like um i can get tired but i'm still young i can clean for myself well also my mukuli and stuff like that and i sleep easy knowing that you know there's someone cleaning for her and, and doing her laundry and stuff and she just has to wake up and and cook i can't afford a chef <laughs> so she has to cook for herself so i sleep easy so i'd rather struggle like ngazu which he, she's taking care of and stuff like that and i'm not really struggling it's just that time i don't have time to clean and then it, the house gets like dirty to a point where i'm like Ugh. but maybe i'll do like a clean with, with me guys oh i can buy like a new bedding and then we can do that on sunday because tomorrow yeah tomorrow i can clean the today when i come back i can clean the kitchen and then on sunday i do like the bedroom with you guys we can do that but we'll see what we do for now let me go to the should i take you guys with me to zara i feel like i took you guys on the last vlog i literally leave with zara literally we say we were good together i would say we have fun but our trails will never run for the 
the time? Seven o'clock. Half past seven. I'm lying. It's half past seven, and we're only leaving Waterfront now, thanks to. <laughs> Thanks to Radel, but I had so much fun. We went out for lunch, went shopping. We got the gifts for Homos also. I just came to say goodbye. Say hi to my babies. Hi. <laughs> just, my work is not even sitting right. I'm tired. We're very tired. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow when we're going to the is it a lunch yeah. party. It's not even a party, it's just a get together where we'll have we'll, where we'll be. Blah, blah, blah. Where we will be exactly. having lunch and celebrating for Mozart. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Friend, you flu. Hi guys, so I'm about to cook dinner and I wanted to do something a bit different but quick um, I'm going to be making beef stroganoff and it says it takes 20 minutes to cook so that's why I'm choosing it um, this is Zanelle's book love love it if you want the recipe it's in here first time making this got all the ingredients I'm going to show you guys now you will change the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you wear your hair. Change the way you dress, the way you kiss, everything cause you are scared that I
I am doing my makeup like I said I would. I'm done with the eyes. I just have to put on uh, eyeliner and um, eyelashes when I'm done. I used my Huda Beauty eye palette to achieve this eye look. Anyway, um, we are going to go and view houses and thank you guys so much for plugging me on Zezimo Loco's um, YouTube channel. She's also house shopping and I just saw like a vlog saying house transfer. Yo, yes, yes. I got so excited when I saw that. I'm like, oh my God. It really motivated me and because I felt like, oh my God, I can't choose. Everything that I see is so nice. So watching a YouTuber who's, who went through, I can say she went through the same thing because once you're doing house transfers and like that, you bought, you're paying your lawyers to transfer the house into your name. Like it, uh, that means your bond is approved and you're good to go, right? You've chosen your house and what, what, what. So I wanted to tell you guys that like i'm sitting here doing my makeup and thinking about like this whole house um where is my foundation stick oh there it is i'm sitting here thinking about like this whole um house journey and thingy and i remember ne, my dad built a two bedroom like growing up my dad built us sorry i'm drinking coke my dad built us a a two bedroom house and when he built that house it was just me and my sister so it was two kids and then we were sharing a bed and then we grew up on that bed like there was only two beds in my home and then my other sister the one you guys know you've seen her she was born in it was three girls and we had to share uh we had to share one bed we literally had to share one bed when you are young it's very cute i loved sleeping with my little sisters but the older i get um the older i got it became a nightmare sleeping with them because we kicked each other um i was tall i grew tall like it came to a stage where i'm in a trick and i'm still sharing a bed with my little sisters we all slept there the three of us and i was so tall like i'm not tall 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 okay i am tall tall i'm 1.73 meters and um so we which I, i'd be like that tall and my sisters are also tall so we'd like kick each other and the bed would be too small for three people to sleep there every day on the daily right one night my sister kicked me and i got tired i was like you know what god i can't do this anymore this is very uncomfortable like i can't even get a good night's sleep because of the situation and I couldn't go to my parents and obviously and ask, would you please buy me a bed? Where are they going to put the bed? Because the house is full. Where are they going to get money for a bed? And I was thinking, yeah, fine, next year I'm leaving. I'm going to tertiary. So I just have to hang in there a few more months and just study and be able to afford my own bed. Remember, I stayed at home for 17 years sharing a bed with my little sister the ghetto i don't want to lie it's cute when we it was cute when we were young but the older we get it really became like i was i was not happy it was i was not happy but i wasn't in a sense of good you every day i wake up and complain it was the situation like if that's the situation at home it's the situation at home you get used to it one day i wake up and i go to the living room there was a couch in the living room and i took my blanket and i went there and i started sleeping there and i went there knowing what my mom is gonna shout at me what why are you sleeping on the couch and stuff like that and you, mind you guys in the, in the morning she saw me sleeping there she never said anything my mom kept quiet the following day i went back there i think i slept on that couch for like a few months before i left it became my bed and it was so good it felt so good 
sleeping like the couch was small but it was better than being squeezed in a bed with my little sisters i love them but no anyway and today i'm in cape town like i thought this would happen like i thought i'd be i'd buy like a huge big house by the age of 25 i swear to god i swear i thought i was gonna make it by the age of 25 because i was 17 then and I thought by 25, my life is going to be sorted. I, I, it wasn't. I'm in my 30s and I'm house shopping. And one thing that is on my mind when I'm buying these houses, I'm thinking about my children. And I'm thinking, how, how good is God? <sighs> yeah. How good is God to give me an opportunity to give my kids something that I never had? Because I'm shopping around for three to four bedroom i'm really pushing for a four bedroom and in my mind i'm saying each child should have like their own bedroom like when they're ready to move out if they want to share they can share but if they are ready to move out and they want to have like their own bedroom in the house i want them to have that i'm like how kind and how merciful is god to give me that chance you know to afford me that opportunity that to give my kids something that I never had and uh, I'm just so grateful I'm like thank you God thank you thank you I know it didn't happen for me it's fine but if you're giving it to my kids it's good and I, I feel like I don't know I feel like my kids will make it in the world much quicker than I did because they'll have more opportunities obviously I can't speak on the future but i will speak like positive things for my children and i'm thinking oh god thank you as Wuchi, my dad used to tell me Wuchi, um he would go to school hungry like he'd get his cock of the papa like you know that under that hard part of porridge he'd eat that it's cocoa and tea in the morning and then it goes to school the whole if when it comes to when it's lunch he would go and hide like behind toilets or behind a tree where people won't see him because he couldn't go home there was no food at home for him to eat so he'd go back to class and he'd be starving and he couldn't concentrate because he's so hungry all he had in the morning was that and he said to himself um my kids will never starve my kids will never. i'll make sure that my kids have enough food and guys ikaya's kule like i'm from a poor background but i never starved I n we had little but I never went to bed hungry I would never went to school hungry I always had lunch money like when my friends bought lunch I also bought lunch and for him seeing me it's like seeing his kids us buying cars getting our own places and stuff like that like now I'm flying home and my sister's gonna pick up it's gonna pick me up in her car one of her car is packed back at home for him it's he, he was able to give us something that he never had and it's much more than anything he could have ever dreamt of he's satisfied his content and nami for me i didn't have like the luxury bougie private schools trips like if we're going on family trips and stuff like that extravagant shopping birthday parties i didn't even go to my metric dance but i never went to bed hungry I got an education, something that my parents didn't get. I have a degree, I have a job. Um, I'm able to walk into, a, walk into a car dealership and pick a car and say, I want this car and stuff like that. I'm able to walk into a bank and apply for a home loan. So I feel like it's slow progress, but there's really progress in our family. And I feel like my parents really did a great job, like as little as they gave us, but they really did a great job. And one thing that they gave us that is available more than anything is character and you know you can have everything in life you can have money and stuff like that but if you lack character and respect for the next person if do you understand if you, it's easy for you to be mean it's easy for you to be rude to the next person it's easy for you to look down on the next person you lack a lot like you can have everything but if you don't have that you lack a lot i'm talking too much i want to charge um I want to charge this because I need this to film um, that review video. Let me continue with my makeup and then um, 
charge my camera because it's becoming low and then what else and then after that i will go to the house viewing and then we'll see what we do after that but yeah let me charge my camera because oh, it's okay it was coming now yes so you lift it up it's, it's usually you've got a boat oh, or something okay. you can put it in oh but then it's not this one it's that one no. well is it not that big it's not quite that you know that, but we can go and look. It's just for you to see the builder's oh. styles, and you can go look at the floor plan, but you won't be able to see his finishes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love the flooring. Yeah, they're all very unique, um, different builders, you know, so sure. Mm. Yes. Um, you. The thing is, these a lot of the houses get sold before they even get built. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Shopping. <laughs> is this like a guest bedroom? I love guys. This one can fit like a double because I do want a big fridge, but I love the the oh, lamps. Yes. yes, yes. I love the lights in the other house. Yes, and you know that isn't expensive to do. I've done it in my personal house. Yes, I've got someone to come in and then they they literally stick that stuff that you saw. Up one, remember? So it's it's a guest stove with the low shading in this country. You need a guest stove. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's. And I love how they have like upstairs these things where you can put like TVs.
and that's what's got three more throats. So, quick question, is it the same size? How, no, how, no. how, what's the size on this one? It was a little bit smaller. So, why is it, why is it not going on? Oh, she's like, put a little here. Oh, this side has to be on. Yeah. Now you click on there. So, that bottom one is left on permanently. You see, that the law says you must be able to put it on something. Okay. If anything goes wrong. Mm -hmm. So, that one's a little bit. It has four. You just see cupboards. That's all you see. Oh. Okay. So. Hi guys, so we are back from viewing the house. Today was a busy day, but I think I managed to make it work. So yeah, you guys, you saw the houses. You know when they tell you when they tell you that um, don't rush a process. So if you're buying a house, view other houses uh, just to make sure you're choosing the right one. The first one that you love might not be the one, the one. The, honestly the the i do view other houses outside like vlogging ne? but if they don't move me or if they don't have potential i don't put I, I don't put them up on the channel but the one we viewed today the house we viewed today oh a tanda i know i said i love the first one but that one is gorgeous it is a brand new but the one that we saw now is um sold already they've already bought it so they showed us right next to it there's a um a building it's standing already we went upstairs and stuff like that they showed us everything which it's going to look exactly like that and it's the exact developers and even the finishes they're gonna give us the exact lady i think you saw that lady who was helping us the the lady was there who does the finishes of the flooring the lights and everything like that stoves the cabinets and they said we'd get her if we choose to purchase so the house will be ready like in seven months or next year around feb <sighs> decisions 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 we love it we love it it's a bit more expensive than the other houses and I think we need to go back to the drink board and, 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 and decide and like really, really think and decide to do what we want. Are we taking it? There's karma. What are we going to do? But I love it. Like I really, really love it. So yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting, but it's stressing me out. I don't know if you guys understand. Like it's exciting, but I'm stressed out. Like I'm really, really stressed out. So yeah i'm going to end off this vlog here for today i'm um, like to say thank you so much for 28 subscribers period thank you guys <laughs> that's very exciting like the way we're growing i remember the end, end of april i was saying thank you so much for 27,000 subs and now I'm, two weeks later i'm saying thank you so much for 28,000 subs i have a feeling end of may i'll be saying thank you so much for 29,000. like your support is <sighs> your positive comments your likes like every time you like my video like you help put it out there every time you comment you help put it out there every time you don't skip the ads you help me with my income every time you even like just watching g you are doing a lot Thank you so much i honestly don't know where i would be without you guys like i really thank you i can, that's all i can say at this moment like thank you i don't think i'll ever be able to repay you guys especially the people who like comment and subscribe i them. thank you guys in my last um vlog i couldn't reply simply because of the workload it, it's 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 a lot i don't complain much but it's a lot so don't feel like you commented i don't reply 
other vlogs I did reply, but last week was crazy. No more being full, no pendula being it. Like, there was just no way. Every time I hit that pillow, I'm out. Because usually I sit in bed. Like, I post the, maybe the vlog around one and then continue with work and then come back home, cook after cooking and then start planning for another vlog. After that, a husband, when I what, what, when I laundry, yeah, when I cleaning, when I cooking, after that, I have videos after, yo, after that, my, that time when my head hits that bed, I shame. I'm gone. So, but I, I, I'll forever say I love you before I leave because I really do. You guys really mean a lot to me. And I'll forever say thank you. Like, you know, call out for the rest of my life, basically, at this point. And that's okay. <laughs> okay, guys, let me go. And Tanda. And please come back for my next vlog. Ne? Are you going to come back? I know you will. <laughs>